guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna go ahead and cook hello fresh and i thought hey let me just record it you know some content awardable fun fact me and my fiance have been doing hello fresh for about three weeks now we love it it is super easy all the ingredients come in this bag that i'm going to be showing you right now the meat does come separately but in the same box super easy and the directions are step by step so you can't mess this up right now i'm showing you that i'm preheating the oven to 425 degrees i'm going to go ahead and open the bag right now we have all the ingredients in there they're gonna be struggling struggling oh whatever this video is not sponsored by the way here's a couscous then i'm going to show you the gorin peppers next is the cheese that's the Tuscan heat spice. The tomato paste, clearly. One tomato. And then one onion. Oh, and we can't forget the chicken stock concentrate. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the green peppers in half. where did that bag come from girl that's magic so right now i'm taking off the stems and the seeds from inside the green peppers it doesn't say it in the paper that comes with hello fresh but i like to put parchment paper so that way it doesn't mess up my cookie sheet i'm putting olive oil i'm putting salt and pepper flipping them over now we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees now we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of butter and we're going to go ahead and melt it add in the couscous and then we're going to add salt and pepper go ahead and mix the salt and pepper with the butter and the couscous make sure that it's browned when you go ahead and add the next step which will be adding three-fourths cup of water and then we're going to go ahead and bring that to a boil once it starts boiling we want to go ahead and the cover on and you're going to reduce the temperature to simmer and that's going to cook for about six to eight minutes next step is to dice the onion and then dice the tomatoes go ahead and put the onions into the pan that has been drizzled with olive oil we're gonna go ahead and add the ground beef now here I like to just chop it a little bit so that way I can break it up a little and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the Tuscan heat spice and salt and pepper Next, we're going to go ahead and mix all the ingredients together so we can make sure that all the meat 
has been covered with the seasonings. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, girl. Now we're going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. And my camera actually died, so I actually added in the tomatoes as well. And I mixed it all together. Fun fact, up until this day, I thought I was allergic to tomatoes, but girl, I ain't allergic no more. So now I'm adding in one third cup of water, as well as a stock concentration. We're going to go ahead and add, again, salt and pepper, because, you know, there can't be too much salt and pepper. I mean, truly, who's allergic to tomatoes? I mean, I was that freak that was. So this whole time growing up, I couldn't have tomatoes because I would break out in, like, hives. Well, girl. So this is what it should look like after adding the water and the concentration. We want to have that thick consistency. Now we're going to go ahead and add the couscous into our pan. And we're going to go ahead and mix that all in together. Get all the flavors. By the way, when I mean freaks, I would literally be looked at like if I was a freak for having an allergy to tomato seeds. But yet I could still eat pizza. I can still eat spaghetti. Anyways... So now we're going to go ahead and get an oven safe pan. We're going to go ahead and spray it with some pan spray. Get the green peppers and place them in the pan. And now we're going to go ahead and start filling it with the filling that we just made. If you guys are interested in more of these type of videos, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you guys like these videos so I can make more of them for you guys. Now for the last and final ingredients, we're going to go ahead and add the cheese onto the four halves of the green peppers. Look how like delicious that looks like it was like <laughs> delish. This video is most definitely not sponsored, but HelloFresh, if you're looking at this and you want to sponsor me, sponsor me, sponsor me. But anyways, this meal was delicious, 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 delicious. And what's even better is that it's healthy. It's not even fattening. It's healthy. So now we're going to go ahead and put the pan into the oven for about two minutes. And we're going to wait for the cheese to melt. Guys, look at how delish. Look at that. Zoom into that, Victoria. Zoom in. That's right, girl. That's right. Get it, girl. Get it. Make sure to safely remove the pan and place it on the stovetop that is not on. And then you're going to go ahead and separate the green peppers onto two individual plates. This meal was actually meant for two people. And yeah, there you have it, guys. We are reaching the end of the video. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified the next time that I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.